Well, if the uh, the little publicity tour we we've been taking over the past month or two months or whatever it's, it's been, if that's any indication, we're in serious trouble. Yeah, serious trouble, because uh, I have never seen so many drunks in my life. I gotta say, Steve, <laughs> St- Steve, see, he. Um, Wait a minute. You, you could just talk from in there. Oh yeah, now I can. <laughs> oh, there he goes. There we go. Wait, now we can't hear him. What? No, you can't I heard hear him. This? Uh, I can't hear him in my headphones. Ooh, 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 he reminds oh. me of somebody. <laughs> ooh, ooh. How about now? Steve, get in, get in here. Right. not landing a plane. <laughs> <laughs> my God. He's behind the glass. He's already too comfortable. He just needs a martini. Do we have the martini Steve music yet? Uh, Dylan! That's all we got? <laughs> Pretty much it. Oh, that's all we're working with. People right get now. a pay for this crap? Dylan! We need a few more sound bites before people for go, now. you know what? Mm-hmm. I, I'd pay for the mm-hmm. Old Beat Anthony show. I know. What's up, Steve? Have you slept in the last three days? Mm, a little bit. I, sl- I went to bed around midnight last night. Woke up at three. Right. Well, here's the uh, second Old. member of the Opie and Anthony show. So Ben is producing the Opie and Anthony show. Old it- change per stomach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Steve, who was running FoundryMusic.com, continues to run that. The unofficial Opie and Anthony website right. is now officially a member of the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was allowed to stay at WNEW when we all got fired because he was never an official member of the show. Right. Yeah, they didn't fire him, which is weird. He had a lot to do with the program. I, I think they just didn't have a clue. No, you know? I think they. I think in the back of their minds they knew. They just didn't have a really good reason to get rid of me. Ooh, fire the commercial guy. Well, why? How about you were associated with this program? Well, I was waiting for a good year after that, and through all maybe two format changes at that point, I was waiting to get axed, and they never did it. So. Yeah. I was just, you know, I was lucky. I sort of like I was Teflon, never really moved. And I, my salary was so not, you know, minimal that it never really showed up on the radar. So like, all right, you know. Well, hey, they had peasants. to pay Opie and I, so nobody else got any money. That's exactly. Sure. Yeah, we're going to get into that a little bit later, I think. <laughs> but we want to introduce everyone. But Steve has uh, has taken it to the limit on the road. Yeah. Uh, a few times. Just once or twice. Every city we were at. First of all, mm. to, get, to get cut off in Boston... <laughs> He got cut off? Yeah. When was this? You have to be so drunk. You were cut off in Boston. Oh, at the bowling alley. No. Well, no, no. At the bowling alley, you threw a, a bowling ball off the wall. At the Into the wall <laughs> and got yelled at. Oh, and, that I remember, yeah. And we all decided but, to go bowling. Well, that's Boston. just because I'm a crappy bowler. That has nothing to do with being drunk. That's just I didn't know how to let go of the you ball. You hit the wall. How you, bad of a bowler are you? You hit Apparently the wall. Very- and it's a nice bowling alley. It's not one of these. No, pieces it was very nice. Places. I didn't want that. Was actually I was aware of that. I just didn't. I couldn't let go of the ball in time, and ben, it sort of bounced. Ben will back us up on this, even though he had a lot to drink that night too. Yeah, exactly. Oh, another one. <laughs> He's not exactly a monk, so as long as I don't have to comfort you anymore. No, on a sidewalk. No, no more of that. <laughs> what a prick! Oh my goodness! That's all I'm saying. All right. I was having a bad night. It was a bad day. Huh? Yeah, but. I don't know. No more of that. I'm no, only I'm... 160 pounds. I shouldn't be consoling. How, how much do you weigh? Uh, now 260. I shouldn't be consoling 260 pound men. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> ever. never again. Ever. Unless it's the privacy here on bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, never again. That was just that was an isolated incident. Never again. Wouldn't yeah, it be I re- as bad if you didn't have your pants pulled up to mid waist with your shirt tucked in like some kind of a William what are you Frawley talk- who, creep. Who are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> it's just awful the way you just tuck your shirt in so nice and neatly. You have to stop that. Let it hang out. Well, we, live a little. We can't. We you know, well, I'm sorry. We can't all have, let it hang over the <laughs> let, let the let the gut hang over the pants. Oh yeah. Oh, very good. All right. Jesus. So back at him. So Steve is uh, an official member of the Opie and Anthony show now. Yeah. And then we brought a new guy aboard. Uh, oh, Sex Bagel. 